Hey guys, it's Miss G. Um, tonight I'm gonna read a book about Oh Say Can You Say Dinosaur. This book is by Bonnie Worth. It's a Dr. Seuss book, as you can see. Bear with me, because some of the names in here, I'm gonna try to sound them out, but they may be wrong. <laughs> All right. Oh Say, can you say dinosaur? I'm the cat in the hat. You have met me before. Today I will speak of the great dinosaur. Dinosaurs lived on the earth long ago before you and me. So how do we know? How do we know that dinosaurs lived here long ago? Have you seen a dinosaur? Or have we learned about fossils? Dinosaur fossils. Dinosaur teeth and their eggs and bones. They got stuck in the muck. Then that muck turned into stone. These fossils are old. They are dusty and worn because they were made long before you were born. Not hundreds of years, not thousands of years, but millions of years long before you were born. Long before Ms. G, Ms. Balcom, Ms. Booker, and Ms. H were born as well, just so you know. Dinosaur hunters dig in the ground all over the earth. These fossils are found. The hunters use tools to chip all day long. The fossils come loose and then they pack them away. Fossils can crumble because they're so old, so dinosaur hunters must first make a mold. So when they find the bones and the fossils and everything, they have to make a mold of it because when they're traveling, it could fall apart and be no more. To the dinosaur labs, every bone, tooth, and bit is carefully shipped to see how they fit. Is this a leg bone? Maybe a muzzle. It's a crazy mixed up dinosaur puzzle. So you know how Miss G and Miss Balcom went back to our lab this week and we were able to piece together the dinosaur? It's like a puzzle. Set up and enter the museum hall where dinosaurs stand, some big, some are small. Here we play the best of all games. Oh say, can you say the dinosaur names? Take care of your father, sweet Sally dear, Nick. These long words can make even grown-ups feel sick. And after you've said them and then you get to see them in the Cat in the Hat Super Dino Museum. Dinosaur names are not easy to read, but give it a try. I will help you if you need. Too bad Cat in the Hat isn't here to help Miss G. Oh, say can you say Ankylosaurus? With a club for a tail and a back full of spikes, this dino was strong like an army tank, yikes. Ankylosaurus, Ankylosaurus, I think. Ankylosaurus. Now, can you say Maya Saura? Saura? There's one thing we know that this dinosaur did best. She kept her kids cozy and safe in their nest. She kept the nest tidy. She got her kids food. She was a good mother to her dino brood. I think it's Myasaura. Myasaura. Ooh, Tyrannosaurus Rex. Now say Tyrannosaurus Rex. You said that quite nicely. Now you'd better go. T-Rex is no kitten. I think you should know. This T-Rex was strong with long, sharp teeth as knives. When most dinos saw him, they ran for their lives. T-Rex was a hunter. He hunted for meat. Other dinosaurs were his kind of treat. Carnivore is the name that we give to dinos that like to eat meat. Ooh, oh, say, can you say, try triceratops this dinosaur's head had three horns upon it sticking up out of a hard sort of bonnet but though he was smaller and not half as fierce his head was too hard for t-rex teeth to pierce 
So after a few dozen of snaps at his face, T-Rex looked for dinner in some other place. So T-Rex tried to eat him, but he had three horns and he couldn't. Oh, can you say a patasaurus? I've gotten this rather tall ladder here for us to see eye to eye with a patasaurus. These dinos' long necks reached up high into trees where they fed on green leaves just as much as they please. A herbivore is a name that we give to dinos that like to eat plants. Can you say Brachiosaurus? This dino was taller than 51 feet. That's as tall as a light pole. And just how much food do you think he could eat? Nearly as much as a truckload of hay is what he would gobble day after day. That's how he grew to this size as you see. The cat in the hat just comes up to his knees. Look, he's all the way down here. He's nowhere as smart as you or me. His brain was the size of a small zucchini. His brain was that small, even though he was as tall as a light pole. That's crazy. Can you say, oh say can you say, Iguanodon? What he did with his thumb, we think that we know. He th we think that he used to jab it at his foe. So he'd take his thumb and he'd poke his foes. Now say, Dino. Cuss, terrible claw, is what the name means, and we think that this dinosaur hunted in teams. So it means that he hunted with other people, other dinosaurs. Can you say Archaeoptyx Phoenix? This feather, fine feathered friend is the earliest known. The bird might have glided, this bird might have flown. One thing we must ask, and we must be quite firm, is this bird, if this bird was so early, did he catch the worm? <laughs> the early bird catches the worm. It's getting late now. I see night is falling. The museum is closing. Your mother is calling. Before you head home, dear Sally and Nick, I have a surprise that is really quite slick. This is, this dino's the earliest cat that is known. No one has seen it. It's never been shown. It's super and terrific. It stands here before us. Oh, say, can you say? Cat in the hat a -saurus. Look, he's a dinosaur. The end. All right, guys, I hope that you can probably say the names better than Miss G, but that gives you a little idea of some of the dinosaurs that we're going to start to learn about next week. All right, guys, I hope you enjoy the rest of your evening, and we'll see you later.